This is some of the basic gear I use when doing tabletop photography. Lighting is extremely important, as are the settings I use for the photos. My lenses vary, depending on if I want a macro shot or not. This is the equipment I use. You may use different gear, but the basics of taking the photos is pretty much the same. Well, you've seen all the stuff you need to do tabletop photography. Now I'm going to show you how I do tabletop photography. I start out in a living room. Here's my living room. And I'll start bringing in the stuff that I put, that I call the tabletop. This is a inexpensive clothes rack that we got from Walmart. I'll be using this for my backdrop. To hold the backdrop up, I use these clamps, Harbor Freight. You get a bag of them in different sizes. And this is a simple card table. This is the table top. All right, so what I've done now is I put a black cloth on the table top, a black cloth for the backdrop. Now we bring in the cameras, the flash units, and the subjects that we want to photograph. So I'm going to photograph those flowers using my Nikon Z6 II. I'll do one just using the light that's available, and then I'll do one using flash. Okay, now I'm going to start using flash. I'm using high sync speed, which on this camera it's uh, 1 200th of a second. I'm going to go with an F16, that's good depth, and my ISO I drop down to 100. I've got a flash on this side and a flash on that side, and I'll show you how that's set up. Here's one of the flash units, and I have it set at 1 16th of uh, energy power, and that one's shooting for the top of the flowers. This is my second flash unit, which I have set to hit more into the center of the flowers. It's also set at 1 16th of an energy power. So let's take those shots and see how that photo turns out. Take that shot. I might increase the energy level just a bit. So I knocked the energy level up about one step. So I'm at uh, one eighth. Let's see how that does. That uh, looks better. Sometimes I'll use uh, white, they call them flags, to bounce some of the light from the strobe back onto the subject, kind of recirculating uh, the light. Just a white card that I put together, standing with a two by four and one of those great clasps. So I'll set wherever it is that I need it to bounce. I might have to angle it. Light will bounce off of here back onto the subject. Good to have. I use white and sometimes I use black depending on what it is I'm shooting. Okay, let's change up the scene a little bit. We got some pumpkins, we got some leaves, and I'm putting them on some wood that comes from my son's old fence that we tore down. You can always use stuff. So let's shoot these and see how they come out. What I had to do with this one, because I got light coming in from the window shooting this side and it lightened up this part of the back or the bottom, I used the white flag. So it bounces the light off of here and then onto the pumpkin and eliminates uh, the light that bled onto the black cloth. And there it is and it worked out just fine. Got rid of the bleeding light that got on the cloth and highlighted that, that pumpkin. Get that back up there. There it is. So that one turned out really well. a dahlia that I photographed that was in our backyard. I'll take, uh, I had two dahlias and we'll photograph those. In fact, it looks pretty good right there, so I'll photograph it with this camera. So 
So here's how we're going to do it with the flash. I got one strobe over there. The other strobe is over here. Camera set in the middle. Let's take a shot. So there's my settings. Shutter speed at the high sync, 1 200th, F16, ISO 100, and I've got the flash set at a quarter energy. This was the other Dahlia that was out there in the backyard, right here. We'll do, uh, tell you what, I'll shoot it with my strobes and then I'll shoot it with uh, the LED lights. So there it is as I shot it. What I had to do was go down to one eighth energy on the strobes. You know, you, you need to play with your, if you're in high sync, you need to play with the energy on your strobes to get the right exposure that you like. Uh, in this case, I like this one. There it is. So that's how that one came out. I shot it at 1 25th shutter speed f16, but my ISO was up to 3200. But that's using an LED light. Looks pretty good. Well, that's the way I do tabletop photography. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it, especially as we get into the winter months and the rainy seasons here in Washington. You might not be able to get out and just take pictures like you normally do in the spring and the summer. But you still can walk around your house, look at different things that you have actually in your house, set them up on that table, take photographs of them, and you'd be surprised how good it turns out. You don't always have to have expensive flash units either. Um, I buy these. These are cheap LED lights. This one's a double LED light. This one is more like a spot LED light. And this is a broader uh, light, LED light. And... Uh, I carry, I have an extra battery pack these just plug into, so they can set up right by the table. And you can use those, and you get great results. You play with your ISO, uh, you play with your shutter speeds, of course, that means I do a lot of, all of my photography actually in uh, manual mode. But it's, it's uh, you can be very creative. You can get a, a lot of photographs you never thought you'd get. You can go to Safeway like I do, and splurge, buy the $7.99 bunch of flowers. You'll have plenty of pictures that you can work on. You'll stay busy, and uh, you'll, you'll love your results. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I'm not a pro by any stretch of the, of the imagination. I just like to take pictures, and uh, these are some of the pictures that I take and, and how I get those pictures. So, enjoy photography, keep clicking away.